Dundas, a name ubiquitous in Toronto, soon to be no more. The item is amended carry. Toronto City Council voting today to replace it. You can never go wrong doing the right thing. Dundas Street runs east to west across the entire downtown core and beyond, home to nearly 100,000 people. Named after Henry Dundas, a British politician criticized for his role in delaying the end of the transatlantic slave trade. This historian says changing the name is long overdue. I should not have to walk down a street named for the person who was instrumental in the enslavement of nearly 600,000 people. The change will affect hundreds of street signs, Toronto's famed Young and Dundas Square, two subway stations and more than 4,000 businesses. The cost for the city estimated between 5.1 and 6.3 million dollars. The vote comes after a city report recommended changing the name, arguing that doing so would be part of the larger effort to tackle systemic racism in Toronto and make the city more inclusive. City staff consulted black and indigenous community leaders and local BIAs. Some councillors argued there should have been broader public consultation. And I'm very worried that this has become the standard at which we will judge whether we need to go and take chisels and hammers and take someone's name off of a wall. It all follows more than a year of racial reckoning, monuments to Canada's colonial past being torn down. I'm really hoping that um, it's not just something that they do and pat themselves on the back and then that's it. Shannon Oyanaran says there's so much more the city needs to do. Jobs, education, um, unemployment, housing, all these things need to be dealt with. It can't just be, again, this nice gesture. New name recommendations are expected next year, set to honor Toronto's diverse present instead of the past. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.